Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jessie. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate. It's been a while. <laughs> like, like three months without me posting. So, <laughs> I don't know where to start. So guys, you know, I did a video about me being pregnant, but it didn't get a good response. So I decided to take it down just for some reasons. But again, I'm like, it's happening. It has happened. What do I have to hide? <laughs> so guys, I'm 11 weeks today. 11 weeks. As you can see, <laughs> it's coming. Hey, it has not been easy for me, or girl. I don't, know, I don't know how women do it. Now I respect pregnant women more than ever. Let me tell you guys. I used to tell myself I will never get pregnant. My work will be to travel the world and just adventure, you know, be that rich auntie. <laughs> that was my work. <laughs> that is my dream till now. And okay, I used to think that I'm this girl who will like, you know, when I find out I'm pregnant immediately, I just go take a pill and just like, you know, just be single forever. I don't know if I, 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 I didn't have an idea if I'd ever get married, but then this happened. You know, guys, I knew this while I was eight weeks or seven weeks pregnant. Like, I knew I was pregnant when I was seven weeks. I thought I was actually, uh, I was actually depressed. I drank a lot, smoked a lot. <laughs> I thought I was depressed actually. I was about to go for rehabilitation center. I didn't even know it was pregnancy symptoms. You know, I've, I, I, I always don't have a flat stomach. I have body changes. I grow fat, I grow thin, it depends. But then this time it got worse, like really worse. I could wake up, I, I like, I, I thought I thought I was losing my life. I was losing myself. And maybe I am, who knows? <laughs> Unplanned baby. <laughs> but again, I, I just, I, I, had, I have to agree, like, I'm coming to terms with it. For me, for me, guys, it has been hard. As you can see, I wake up and just, like, take something like yogurt. I, I, I can't eat anything. I can't do anything. I just sleep. Like, mine is sleeping. So, but I've been told by the time it's uh, four months, I will come back to normal. So, I have, like, two, three weeks to come back to normal. I don't know. I've been trying. I can't work out. I can't do anything. I don't know how these women do. Let me tell you guys, for me, it is hard. Like me, I've had these, uh, these, these symptoms that I don't know. Maybe because it, I was shocked. I became shocked by the news. You know, I did the test. I didn't believe it. Then I went, I did it again. Then I was like, okay, you know, you know, like, I was like, okay, just chill, chill. So I tried to chill, but you can't chill knowing it is there. Let me tell you, you can't, you, you cannot. Anyway, I don't know. Now, I don't know. I've been having dreams of the baby. I'm coming to terms with this. Okay. It was not supposed to be this long. Telling you my most weirdest, weirdest, uh, pregnancy cravings that i had you know when i tell you that i thought i was depressed like for the past two three months it was this like you know like i wake up so you know like the life party you know like the life party the life party so i could wake up i never used to smoke cigarettes but i've i've, I've tasted it in clubs my dad used to smoke it every, like it's everywhere so like two three months ago it started it became heavy i don't know how like it became heavy so i could just go to the shop but if i hear someone smoking cigarettes i want that you know that smoke i want just to taste it so i i could tell myself mm, 10 bob the kiaki only 10 shillings so i could buy it like 10 bob that, imagine that time i'm pregnant and i don't know that i'm pregnant i was just craving for things that i didn't know so i could come like you know like <laughs> go to the rooftop or the balcony so that my sister <laughs> could not find out i like i could use like two three four a day <laughs> guys it was it was intense really intense for me like it became worse like six seven twelve then just like i don't know I could drink like I could, you know, like we have fridge, so and we we stay like three girls here. 
so they could stock up some alcohol wine everything so i i'm not i'm not i'm not like i i really used to drink so much often but i like partying i like partying so what i used to, I, I i knew to control myself about drinking i knew i knew that I, I can control myself but some things happened like things things happen so i could wake up open the fridge and you know what take some chrome take i you know after just taking breakfast let me tell you i drink like the whole day watch the whole day i didn't know what was happening to me i didn't know i was pregnant i have drunk like let me tell you the bottles of whiskey or vodka or wine i have drunk in in my first month of pregnancy even i i don't know i had to go for checkup immediately i knew i was pregnant but it was it is again too early to know if anything will happen to the baby because it it, it might cause like low birth weight but again i was I, I was excited i was excited that you know like i found out because i knew because i knew that there is nothing wrong with me it was hormones okay maybe there's something wrong with me but i at least i had a justification because i i thought that i was going insane you know like going to that to to, to that addiction state <laughs> my mother would have killed me I, I i i don't know i think so i'm never tasting i'm never tasting anything whiskey vodka ever again in my life or anything smoking hey my life has been a journey i don't know i don't know how people maintain i wish i could just be like i could not have been rebellious in life but again i appreciate the stage that i was rebellious but it has taken so much of my time maybe right now i could have been a millionaire i don't know i don't know you know like if you're traumatized you're traumatized agree with it move on and start a new life mine has not started yet <laughs> because because i don't feel like doing anything just like lying down and and just you know like sleep <laughs> oh god i need i need like a motivation but i think so that was my first first uh, most weirdest uh, cravings it was smoking cigarettes you know like i i don't know i used to hate even traveling because of the fume of the car i don't know it's called fume it's called f i don't know it's called fume but now if i just like hear that fume i want to stay in that fume so weird and i cannot even eat onions or or smell onions i can maybe i can eat the food with onions but i cannot see onion in inside i separate it i don't know so that is it for me today <laughs> where jari and jari and jari wa atuji my shaita and daddy ah so I have to carry this baby for nine months. Hey women, how do you have six kids? I'm already dying. But anyway, I like it's an adventure. It's an adventure. It's life. It's life. And at least mine maybe it's a pandemic baby. <laughs> wow. Okay. So uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. We'll talk next time. Bye.